everyone. Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today, Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Today we're going to be making these beautiful embellished frames with our pre-made tabs. Although I have a few different, a few examples of different types of tabs. Of course you can make tabs with anything, but I'll just give you as many ideas as possible. And I've made four of them, all a little different. Some are embossed. Some have my um, homemade washi. So that's what we're going to be doing, but first I have a couple little show and tells and do my thank yous here. Um, okay, first I guess I'll show the card. Card I made for my mother-in-law for her birthday. And then I will have the pictures. There's the graduation girl. And there she is in her prom dress. So that has to go out soon. And then I made this little book. Now I've done this before and I will probably share with you um, at the end when we I show you what to do with these frames but it's just a little prayer book and the little book tucks inside that middle envelope. Now I might not keep this, so this is just making sure my pages were going to fit and lay out right. I had to print that by myself, so that just goes in this little pocket. The, the one I made previously is a little different, but it's basically the same um, style. Thought that was lovely. Turned out well, I mean. Okay, thank yous to G. Winneal, Deborah, April, Robin, Judith, Joan, and thank you, Suzanne and Bev. For your lovely comments on the last video and show and tell this is relics paper collection i love it now these labels you can cut apart or just use as background pages these are all um labels i made and put on top of these backgrounds and then it also has background pages so I wanted to show you a couple of those and then this is patchwork collage papers and I printed two of those because I love it No, actually what I do, I printed three. I printed three. Love that paper. But I wanted to show you. Look at this. All three of them together. Boho, Medieval. And I printed this because I wanted to show you that there is actually some blue in this one as well. All three of those go together so well. So I can't wait to play around with that. I can't wait to actually have some time. Although I have been down here more than usual. So that's that. I sold two or Two or three of those already and I just put it up I put it up early so what you'll need today 
or just some scraps. I have some already assembled and ready to go, ready to be decorated to save a little time. So you'll need some scraps and you'll need all your embellishments, whatever you want. I have some tabs here. I have some letters. I have some flowers. I have some labels. I have some washi, whatever you desire. And then I have these full of ephemera and tiles, which I've also been using. So that's what you're going to need. And then basically what I did, I take these scraps. These I made a long time ago. I've had in my stash. I can decorate those as well. I take some scraps and I cut strips, four strips. They can either be the same size or the same height or rectangular. And then I just cut my desired length to get the width of my frame, which this one is two inches. You can go an inch and a half. You can go one inch. This one's probably one inch. This one's probably an inch and a half because it's about three quarters wide. And then you're just going to fold them in half. And I found at first I was using my scoreboard but I found it's better just to fold them in half. So that way you get the edges to match better. And you're going to make some channels. So I'm going to show you how I glue those together to assemble a frame. And I use my scoreboard. Then I just take two channels and I pop some glue in the end of there and then I slide it up to the top let me make sure I'm in frame here slide it up to the top put another dab of glue so then that corner stays square then I take the other one I can tell right now this one's off little bit as far as this angle here but that's okay because I'm going to show you don't worry if they don't come out perfect because that's the side you can decorate <laughs> which I have done on a couple so okay once that once you have that corner Then put one corner back in like so and then you're going to glue the rest together. Just let me get some glue in there and be careful if you're going to use your scoreboard like me. If you have a piece of a frame or something, piece of a cardboard cut, at that perfect angle you can use that. Get 
that clipped. And then the final one, I like to tuck in the bottom. So it goes like that, like that. And then I just glue the last one. One day I took these outside. And then when they're dry, I run them through my press. And if you emboss them, well, even when you run them through your press, I'll show you. <clears throat> They get very flat and you can barely see the seam. I mean you can a little bit, but if you emboss them, you really there's embossed, you can barely see the seam if you emboss them. But I'm not gonna take the time to run this one through, I'll do it later. But there you go, that's how I make these little frames. And then I had a hole. You can also do them just with plain paper. And I had a whole stash of them, but some of them I used already. So they're gone. So that's what I did one day. I just, it's a great way to use up these little cardstock scraps. So I took a bunch outside and made these outside. So, where's my other one? I already have one started to be decorated. Where'd my topper go? Okay. And, um, I used my homemade washi, which I have another magazine here, and then I had a stack of tabs. Let me show you these first. I made these specifically to go with these ones today, but then as I was going through my tab stash, look how big my tab stash is already. I love these things. As I was going through there, I noted um, these ones. This one in particular. And then I turned it this way and I thought, oh, okay, I kind of love that. So I might be using that with that. Why not go funky if you can go, why not go boho-ish, I always say. So I made some, I made some to go with these today, but I might not even use them, so we'll see. Let me get a, something to put these in so they're not so unruly. Okay, so I have some flowers. I have all kinds of things around me. So that's another homemade tab you can use. And then I cut out a bunch from scrapbook paper. Did I just throw those in there? Yes, I did. I cut out a bunch from scrapbook paper, so I wanted to show you those as well. Don't forget, you can also do something like that. Find some patterned 
scrap of paper and do something like that and make your tabs. And here's some more from some assorted papers. Some are small, some are long, some need some more embellishment, definitely. But those are all different types of things you can make tabs. And if you don't have if you don't have these fancy corners, you can do this with a paper punch and you can just cut them at an angle like a tag. So do not worry if you do not have the fancy punches. You can, easy, you can still make them easily. So let's get started decorating at least one. And first of all, I determine the placement of my tab. Where do I want it? And I usually try to go inside the frame a little bit. I mean, I don't want to take away the fact that it's a frame, but I try to go in a little bit. So, I think I'll go halfway on that one. Hey, covering up that side, but oh well, that was a nice, nice little piece of homemade washi. And I get that straight as possible. Okay. And then we just glue the front. Or glue the tab together. And then we can add everything on top of it. Okay, so what am I going to start with? Um, I also have some little flowers here. Well, that's probably going to be cute somewhere. Let's start with let's start with some layering. Let's see what we have here. Now since I have so many red, I was trying to avoid more red. I don't know if that's going to happen. Kind of wanted to go a little bit pink. So I hope everyone's doing well. I sure picked a bad day to have insomnia. The only sunny day this week. And I might miss it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to add brown to that. It's too much. Here's a pink one. Let's start with that. Okay, where can I put these so they're not a mess? Let's start with that. Let's see what else I have for 
butterflies. Stamps, maybe. There's a ticket. That'll work. Okay, that's the be that's the beauty of using one using the ones that are already decorated. <laughs> Goes a lot faster. Um, that's not bad. I've had these forever, but I don't really want black. So let's put these back. Where's my labels? Let's see if I have some pink ones in here. Not appropriate. No, I think the style is too different for those ones. Okay, what else do I have? Just some little scraps. That'll work. Yeah. Okay, how do I want to cut that down? Just let me take a little off there. Hope everyone's fine. Did I just say that already? I'm a little flustered. And so many things on my plate. And then I didn't tell you last time um, my cousin's husband died on the day of Estelle's I think I'm going to cut this the same to mirror that edge on the day of Estelle's graduation so we had a funeral to attend last week. My neighbor is supposed to be getting home from the hospital today. He's been in the hospital for over three weeks. Had major surgery. Now my ticket, my ticket's going to cover that, and I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to just use this one. Oh, and I had an idea. Don't let me forget it. These were inspired, by the way, Crafty by Tony. And, um, of course, hers were Tim Holtz and all Tim Holtz all the time. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, 
No, that's not looking straight. Okay. No, it's not. It must have shifted. So what am I going to do to fix that? I'm going to put something over it. A tile. Now don't get me wrong, I like that style. It's just I don't use it all the time. Okay, I want to hide that white stick peeking out. I know that. So I'm going to put a tile there. Now I have to hide that paper shift. That looks better. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm definitely going to try to take these to seven. Let me see if I can find some. Little tiny ones. That's too white. There's a stamp, but that's blue. Okay, why not? Let's mark it with a B. Get that. Okay. Now I made these a gazillion of these little tiny envelopes, which is on this one. Oh, I forgot. Um, You know what I forgot? I might have forgot my button ephemera, which that would look cute like that. These come out so adorable just using random scraps. Look at that. There's another one. That's a valentine. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, and then I'll show you. It has a little tag. So I'll show you how to make those at some point. I don't want to take so much time because <clears throat> we're at 29 already. And I'm hoping to get at least two decorated. Just need a little tiny one. Oh, my deck, my table's getting out of hand. I think that will work. It's good enough. And I just covered up my flower on that paper. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And I would like to have a flower. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. I can hurry up. Get on to the next.
what did I do this? What did I order this week? I ordered some paper. Yeah, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just put that one. I don't see a little. Some little tiny shoes. No, I'm just sticking with that. There's enough pink in there. It'll work. And then I'm going to put a little tag later to make one to fit. Okay, there we go. Here's another one. Okay, let me get a frame. I guess I'll do this one. And for the sake of time, I'll choose a pre-made frame. I add some pages. Go. Um, okay, for the sake of time, I'm just going to grab some color and not worry about pattern so much. my tape. I noticed last night that um, these good housekeeping seem to lift pretty well. So I brought down a bunch more. Here we go. So I'm just using this to get some color on here quickly. I was going to stamp. You can stamp. You can spray. You can do whatever you want. But I found this to be pretty pretty fast. So there you go. There's my color. And I can probably have enough here just to bend this over. Let's hope. Yeah, my other one was the same width as the tape. That was helpful. Okay. Boy, this one's going to be wild. I really like those stripes. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what else I have. Um, yeah, there was some more. That might be kind of cool. 
pull this one. Okay, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Let's go wild. That way we can try to stay on one page and get this covered. I might have just the tab to go on here. We'll see. And since these are all different, they're not going to match. Ooh, that one dried a little bit. Didn't want that, but that's okay. That one dried too fast. I have to use glue. Let's see what transferred there. Oh, just a little pattern. It's fine. You can still tell it's flowers though. Okay, let's re-wet you. <laughs> I hope I don't have to get up and get more tape. And of course you're going to fold on me. Okay, take two. Let's go faster. Okay. Get that burnished. Trim that edge a little bit. One more time. I, I like how that looks distressed. One of these days, I'm going to get around to making a journal entirely from junk. And I know this would be the perfect month because isn't this supposed to be like Junky June or something? I think I'm going to go this way because that corner is likely to be covered. I am going to order some washi tape. It's just that every time I I finally have one, one or two on my wish list, 
But the problem is every time a lot of them are like 20 rolls, 20 or more rolls. And then when I get on there, I can't decide which ones I like. Okay, there we go. Frame number two. So, let me choose a tab. Let me see here. That's an envelope. Um, I think I want one that's kind of long. That might work. You know, I can really see this one with some text stamping over it. That's upside down, can't do that. That text, I mean, is upside down. That's not bad. Um, this is the one I was thinking, but it's really not wide enough. I don't want to be able to decorate. Oh, here's one. This one still has a glue dot on it. That might be okay. Um, that's too long. That's too long. That's too much. Doesn't match. That's not bad either, but that's too thin. Okay. I think I'm going with choice number one. Just let me check. This one might not be too bad. Oh, I kind of like that too. Just the map. Then I have to decorate the whole thing. Um, wait. Okay, I like that one. I'm going to go for it. I'll just have to cover some stuff up. I could probably even put two on there. Go out a little more if I wanted to. Which I might. Okay, let me get this one on here, make sure it doesn't shift. Let's do this. Is that where I want it?
Yeah, I think so. And it is shifting. Stay still. This time I'm going to go this way. And I'll glue my back. Okay. Oh, we're at 47. Oh my goodness. Okay, what? What, what, what? You know what? I have these little things that I haven't used in like forever. Got these little ladies. I don't want to cover up that word, but that might happen. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to go like that. Okay, that's perfect. There's another one that's blue, that's green. I think it's staying green. I'm going to put this little rose in the corner. Put that there. And then I might finish this off camera. Because I don't want to run out of space on my card. So one thing I did want to do. Don't forget, she... a very tiny hole here. Which one switch? Okay. I'm try to follow that line. Probably isn't wide enough apart, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then I was thinking, I'm going to thread some thread through there and tie a knot. These are great. If you want to use up ephemera, I can't even tell you how long those little applique things have been in here. So you know what? I think I'm just going to tie a knot. And 
I should tie a bow, but I don't think it's the holes aren't far enough apart. So I'm just gonna well I'm just gonna leave that like that. Okay. One, two, three envelopes. Let me see if I can find a little envelope. 51. I have nine minutes left on my thing. Those little shoes, I don't think they would be appropriate. Look at that. <laughs> These things come out so cute. Um, there's another little one of that. Don't want to use the same thing, but it matches. Very tiny. I only have so many tiny. So I might have to make one. I don't want blue, and I don't think the shoes are appropriate. Okay, that means I am going to finish decorating this off camera, and I'm quite sure I can get it up to seven on my own time. Okay, I might, yeah, I'm just going to go like that. No, then my text is upside down. Okay, I think I'm just going to go like that. And then something in that corner, I think. And then I'm losing my map. Or my not my map, my compass. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. But then this one won't have a tag. And then I'll put something in that corner. That's perfect even though that is part of a little body that got cut off. I do have a map in here. I'm pretty sure. That's too big. Okay, I'm going to look on my time. Let me just get these. today. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. I'm sorry this took an, almost an entire hour, but I hope you will try these. So much fun using up a lot of scraps. There you go. There's a close-up of the one we made today. I also I'll have all the photos on the blog so you can see them again if you like. I could try to find a butterfly too. Okay, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye.